Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be talking a lot about 6 inch props. So I've been testing various 6 inch props over the last 6 months because uh, that's when I built my first 6 inch quad and I really like the feel of 6 inch so I've been putting a lot of work into trying to find the best setup and of course the best props as part of that setup. So. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that I don't think tri-blades are a very good option for 6 inch because they produce too much drag and they're just too slow. With 5 inch it's okay because the props are spinning faster and you also kind of want that extra grip of that extra blade because the disc area on 5 inch is so much smaller than on 6 inch. So it really helps with the grip, as I'm sure if you guys have compared 5-blades and tri-blades on 5-inch, you know that the tri-blades grip a lot better. Um, but you'll also notice that the tri-blades in general aren't quite as fast as those by blades and that's the same trade-off made on 6-inch, but with 6-inch, the blades grip better in general just because there's that huge disc area. So the extra blade isn't really necessary and just slows everything down too much especially because the blades aren't spinning as fast on 6 inch. So I've tried tri blades on 6 inch and I just don't think in general they're good. Um, I know there's like new blades out there like the Azure uh, tri blade, I don't know what the pitch is, um, but I just know that wouldn't be a good fit because it's going to pull too many amps and is going to be kind of slow compared to the bi blades. Um, so I prefer the bi blades, so that's what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to be comparing these two by blades in some flight footage. This is the Dow 6040 and then the Dow 6045. So, check out this flight footage and then we'll come back and discuss these props. Okay, so the first prop that you saw was this, the 6040. Like I said before, it's a hybrid bullmoose design, so it has the kind of squared off tip, but it's also rounded at the same time. And it's four inch pitch, so let's compare it to the other one. So you can hopefully see that it's much less aggressive scoop on it. And this was my go-to prop for the longest time. I kept going back to it after trying different props out and I think that comes down to just the control feel and the overall efficiency was very good it's a pretty light prop it's about 4.2 4.3 grams which is very good considering there are a lot of 5 inch props that are heavier than that uh, and the low pitch makes it super grippy in the air 
so it just gives a really nice buttery feel when you're flying the quad. However, uh, it's not the most efficient design. The squared off tips um, are definitely not the best. Uh, if you see like the Racecraft 5051, the new Avan props, and the Cyclone props, and the 5 inch forms, uh, they all have some kind of vortex management, which this has absolutely none. Except for like very, very slight rounding, which is doesn't really count. So they didn't really try to do anything with that. But overall, it's a very good prop, and I recommend it. So the second prop you saw was this, the Dow 6045, which I think is a copy of the HQ 6045 but this is made out of PC and glass fiber just like the other one whereas the HQ prop is made out of um, a glass filled nylon which is a lot less durable so this has the higher pitch but it has the rounded um, tip to help with the vortex management it's not quite ag as aggressive vortex management as something like a cyclone prop but it is still there and that actually ends up kind of canceling out the effect of the higher pitch because usually higher pitch props are less efficient or at least pull more amps and kill your battery faster because they produce more thrust but this kind of evens out with normal flying because of the rounded tips so you have that extra punch if you need it and it will pull more amps at full throttle than this prop but you don't have to use full throttle and if you're going the same speed maybe even a little faster the flight times are the same so the way i fly i get the same flight times with either of these props but i prefer this prop because i just have that extra throttle ceiling if i need it i can go at extra like 30 percent because then when i'm punching out i only really need 70 percent throttle and then if I need to get out of a bad situation or something, try not to crash, then I have that extra amount of um, like boost that I can use. And that's a nice thing to have. Also, you can kind of hear the efficiency difference by the sound that these props make. So the 6040 is kind of like a slapping sound against the air, like you can hear just slapping the air. Uh, if you've flown 5 inch bull nose props then you know what I'm talking about it's that kind of noise um, compared to the 6045 prop which is more of a whoosh it just kind of cuts through the air instead of slapping it so you can also hear the efficiency difference as well so this pretty much brings me to my conclusion which the best overall 6 inch prop that I know of right now is this Dow 6045 um, or the HQ variant however this is more durable um, so this is what I would recommend to try unless you're doing like proximity stuff or you have a really heavy build where you might want the the lower pitch um, but these are both really good props I recommend them both but for most people flying the 6045 is probably the better bet it's a little faster a little more efficient if you have any questions about props or if you know of any props that you think could compete with this prop specifically uh, leave it down in the description also yell at your favorite prop manufacturers to make some better six inch blades because these blades are super old and they don't have a lot of technology in them um, so it'd be cool if they if Dow like came out with a cyclone six inch or if Racecraft came out with some kind of 6 inch. These are really old props, but they still perform great. But I really think more development is needed. Leave your comments down below. Like this video if you liked it. And please subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk about why I don't like tri blades again. And I actually tried this tri blade. Before I tried this bi blade, which I'm not sure why I did that, I think I was trying to see just if there was any tri blade out there that could improve the feel of a six inch, um, which I discovered there wasn't. So this actually has the same profile as the bi blade version, but this thing pulls way too many amps at full throttle. It's like 120 amps, and it's slower. So. The tri-blade thing kind of works with 6-inch, I mean, 
sorry, the tri-blade thing works with five inch because the props aren't as big and you actually need that extra grip because the prop discs are smaller. However, on six inch, the prop discs are so big compared to a five inch that the extra blade is not necessary to get that grip. So really it just ends up adding drag and slows the whole craft down. So that's what I've concluded for tri-blades. They're not really a good option. I know there's the Azure prop out there, the tri-blade, I don't even know what the numbers for it are. The one that looks like a boomerang. And I can just tell that that one pulls too many amps and will be slow because all six inch tri-blades are pretty much like that. Um, Cause it's just not a good happy medium. For five inch tri-blades are like a good happy medium. Like quad blades are too slow. Bi blades don't have enough grip. Here, bi blades um, are like that equivalent of the tri-blade for five inch.